Today I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous wall decor. This is a plate and this plate this plate has a little hanging thing in the back. This hanging thing you can make it with a little piece of thread and super glue. Now this plate is nicely decorated with mirror and sequence and these are q-tips and these are little white stones and I have used this kind of fabric paint glitter this is glitter fabric paint and they glue mirrors really good the mirrors do not come out so let me show you how I made it now these plates you can buy this kind of plate in any craft store and then you can choose to color it with your favorite fabric paint or any kind of other acrylic paint but I use fabric paint uh, because they are kind of better glossy so here's a plate and I have used these paints dimensional fabric paint so you can choose to make whatever color you like. I made red and blue so far. So these are the pen. And this is the glitter silver paint. That's the color I will put on top. So what you need to do is these are one inch mirrors. You can get it at any craft store. Now you sort of eyeball it to the middle and you drop enough and then you put your mirror and I have used one of these used up fabric paint container because I use the tip to push it down and you push it down and it'll be coming outside a little bit on the edge. That's okay. Now, this one has some different stones you can use on top of the Q-tips at the side. And these are the tiny little 5 mm uh, little sequence. You can choose to use big ones. I use the little ones. Now, for putting the sequence, it's better to put in a plate you might get glitter so it's easy to pick up that way so you put on a plate some sequence now you have your mirror and your sequence and you continue working <coughs> now you put little little dots all around tiny little dots these plates looks really lovely on the wall if you have a big circle mirror and you put these plates all around about say about five plates on each side and a mirror in the center that looks really gorgeous wall decor so you pick little bit of paint and you go back and pick a sequence and bring it back to your plate and try to put these sequences as close as possible because when they are really close to each other they tend to look prettier rather than being far with each other I don't know something about it I have seen when I put them real close to each other they look really pretty this sequence this glitter paint fabric glitter paint and the red or blue paints all this thing you can find in any your local craft store now continue doing like this and this should take a little time because this kind of
this would be a fun project for the kids that will keep them busy for a long time. <coughs> now, we put another big one here, another big one here, another big one here. If you have a little plate, you can use a small mirrors, but at the moment, I do not have any small mirrors. I'm using big one. With your mirror, try to add a little bit extra of this glitter fabric paint because you want your mirror to stay there for long. If it's not mirror, just sequence. You do not need to use too much fabric paint. But since the mirror and mirror is heavy, you need to put enough fabric paint so the mirror stays there in that position. Like this. Like this. Now continue decorating it throughout the whole tray. Now in my upcoming videos I will be showing uh, how to do jardoshi work on sari, salwar kurta, dupatta and I will be making sari, salwar kurtas and um, ghagra, choli, blouse and I will be doing a lot of dupatta series, a lot of this kind of designs on the dupatta and they really look stunning when you do design with this fabric glitter paint and sequence and mirrors <clears throat> but in dupatta you cannot glue the mirrors because in your fabric if you glue these mirrors they are definitely gonna fall off so you can only glue these mirrors on metal in fabric you have to stitch them on my upcoming videos I will be showing how to stitch these mirrors on your fabric with the mirrors anything look lovely I don't know why I have so much fascination with mirrors I find it anywhere you put mirrors they just make it shine so good Now you go around, even if you mess up a little bit, it's okay because once it dries, it really looks pretty, regardless of little bit mistake here and there. With sequence and mirror and glitter paint, it really gives you plenty of room or mistake because either way it really looks gorgeous now with your sequence you have to make sure they're on the right side <coughs> when you put in a plate they all tend to go upside down when you put it so as this is you continue going all the way so now you add like this so one more might go here one more here and then you can add one here one here you see, you have to just find space wherever they have little opening. You um, add it. So like this, you continue adding. Okay. So give a little space. Now you continue with your sequence work until it's all filled. Once they're done, what you need to do with your Q-tip, 
is you need to make sure they are lined up real with this proper distance and with your q-tips you put a little bit of glitter glue here and then put the q-tips here and you put a little bit more glitter glue on the top so it will be shiny glittery and it will stick properly and then with the q-tips top put little bit of glitter glue on the top and then you put stones on top now this will take a little time to dry and once it dried then it gets straightened out it's better if you take these q-tips and add all the stones on the top with the glitter glue add all the stones on the top and then when this stone dried then you add the q-tips here like this you go around and the final once you're done going around the final will be this so you continue adding all around it and then you continue adding all the sides and then you decorate these sides and then you add this so you see these things are so permanent they will not come out unless you pull them out otherwise they will not come out so first I added these stones on the q-tips and then I let it dry and once it dried then I put the q-tips onto the tray and I use the glitter glue again to glue them so you see this is a lovely wall decor